Ugh. So, Should I keep the sunglasses on or off? What do you think? You do you, man. All right. Right now, we're going to get into some stuff. Matt, we're going to get in some stuff with an OG in, um, I don't know. I feel like he's groundbreaking a lot of stuff in the NFT community. Well, he's the one who broke NFTs for us, right? Like, he, he snapped them. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> broke them in half. No. What's that mean? What's up, everybody? You're listening to the Hustle and Flow Chart Podcast with your boys, Matt Wolf and Joe Fear. So he's the one who first introduced NFTs to us. Um, we'd been in the crypto space for a while, but um, we the, the NFT concept we were sort of blind to, right? We were we were more just like trading coins and stuff. We didn't mm. know what we were doing yeah, at yeah. the time. Um, but uh, maybe a year-ish ago, we interviewed him, and we actually had an interview with him about Clubhouse. Mm-hmm. But he sort of briefly talked about NFTs in that episode, and we went, holy crap, we should check this out a little bit deeper and that sort of led us down a rabbit hole for sure so we had him on the show uh the hustle and flow chart podcast i don't think we even had a video for him at the time it was before a beautiful studio here uh but what we chatted about with gary henderson who's the man we're chatting with in a minute here uh that guy basically grew up his following on clubhouse Mm -hmm. popped it wide open the guy was behind a lot of branding stuff like lewis howes and gabby bernstein and a bunch of other new york times best-selling authors He basically built brands well, now he's building his brand, and he's building it on the back of Web3 and technologies and NFTs and, and uh, tokenized economies inside of his his group there. And he's doing just crazy giveaway strategies, all these fun things that that's why I'm thinking like he's breaking this open, too, because we had all these like just opening mind moments. We we're just like, I don't even know what to think about this right now. Oh. I think everybody listening is going to and watching is going to have a lot of mind blowing moments throughout this episode. Um, we do cover a lot of ground with him. Uh, I actually what have to doing? look at my list. We talked about the rally coins, which is like a, a fungible token, right? They're they're interchangeable, but how you can use these rally tokens to build a community and really get the community excited around whatever projects you're working on. And he really like broke down the whole model of how to build communities behind tokens mm-hmm. and stuff. And so I thought that was a fascinating conversation about the, these rally coins, which we're probably going to really kind of dive oh, yeah. a little bit deeper into the rally coin we'll talk about ecosystem. that at, yeah towards the end we'll probably talk about some ideas there more so yeah after and the interview gary's also got his own nft called giraffe tower mm-hmm. which is a it, it's got all sorts of utility behind the scenes we're going to talk about that uh right now it's uh, the, the the floor price is rising that, that's there are hot demand nft so we're going to talk about that <laughs> nft and how that project is playing out and the utility behind it and how he's bringing more and more and more value to the community um, at, that that own this NFT. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about <laughs> uh, the book. The, the book. book. He, he has a here, book I'll, I'll talk out. about this okay. one. Yeah, he has a book on Clubhouse. I don't know the name of it right now. It's probably on screen right here. So there's the book. Get that book because it's in pre-order right now, mm-hmm. not for long. But you Joe, actually, why do I want a Clubhouse book? This is an NFT show. I don't know. Oh, it comes with an NFT plus some other cool things behind the book. So get the book because you'll probably learn how to uh, just. Grow commu- I don't know, like do some cool stuff on Clubhouse. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff on Clubhouse. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's really how he grew his brand and how he grew his community, why he launched this NFT. He's freaking on the rally coin system. He breaks down how he's earning off of that. Like, mm-hmm. it's pretty cool what he's created on the back of Clubhouse. So he made the book with NFTs. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. I think he's the first person that's done that. Yeah. Um, at least that we all know about. And the guy helped launch like six New York Times bestsellers selling books, that is. Mm-hmm. So pretty unique if this guy knows how to do it. And he's working with a big publishing company as well. And what else? Was there anything else on your oh, list dude, that I, we missed? Well, we missed a couple. but There is, but I, actually I'll, I'll leave some because uh, Shit, the, 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 alpha. the very last Somewhere. question we asked during this interview uh, was, what are some of the projects you're excited about? And so we got him to drop alpha on the projects that he's paying attention to right now. So tons and tons of insights in this one. If, uh, if you really want to understand how how community and NFTs blend together. This episode is for you. And then you're going to get a ton of alpha about how to get some free NFTs and some cool projects that are going on right now. Sick. All right. Let's go chat with Mr. Gary. We got to do one of these. <laughs> Gary, welcome back. Hey, thank you guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think you realize it. I, I made a tweet about this a, a, a month or two ago, and I'm not sure if you saw it or not, but you are the catalyst for NFTs for us. Uh, so sure Joe did. and I, we've been in the, the sort of cryptocurrency space since, uh, I mean, we've been paying attention since 2013, investing heavily since 2017, but NFTs were kind of a blind spot for us. We didn't know much about them. We had you on for round one, where we mostly talked about Clubhouse, and you brought up Rallycoin, and then you started talking about NFTs, and that sent us down the rabbit hole. I bought my first NFT like a week after that. 
we got hooked. Oh, wow. We were in the NFT rabbit hole after that. And then anybody who's listening to our show now knows we've sort of pivoted and gone all in on talking Web3 topics now. That's so that cool. Was, it's yeah, it's too. such – that's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, and it started with yeah, it was Gary Coin. You know, we we're looking at Gary Coin, and we're like, "What's this all about?" And I, I think I remember you were like the first fifty to get a coin. I believe it was right. Yeah, rally, you know, I think coin, first. Coin. Yeah, I think it was like first seventy-five in the world um, to get a coin, and I, I didn't know what I was doing. I just I knew there had to be something different to do. I didn't want to do what everyone else was doing. Um, but it's so cool to me to hear. The people today that their first NFT is a giraffe, for example, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. their first time of learning about NFTs was through me, or their first crypto in their wallet was a Geary coin. Like, that's just mind boggling to me. It's just so cool to keep hearing those stories. Dude, and, and it's popping. Like, so walk us through because Geary coin, that happened right around the clubhouse, like when you were starting on clubhouse, right? Was it right around the same era? Like late 2020, right? Well, it, so, I started in Clubhouse at the end of December. I, I got moving, started selling coaching, doing the normal stuff, you know, run a room, have a conversation, sell a coaching package. And money was flowing like crazy, like six figures in January. So it was, it was gold. But I didn't want to flip back into all the normal, like what I'd done for all my clients. I, it, just, it just didn't, it didn't feel great to me. What I always struggled with was there's so many people in the world that need to know about Lewis Howes or need to know about Gabby Bernstein or, and then as you start selling coaching and start transacting, it just becomes hard to keep focusing on growing the brand and growing the brand and growing the brand. Right. So I learned of rally in early February mm. and saw this, this opportunity, Peter Shankman. I don't know if you guys know Peter, yeah, um, but founded him. Yeah. 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 So I reached out to Peter. Peter's a friend of mine. And I said, so I see rally and I see you have a coin. Is it legit? <laughs> and I trust Peter, you know, like, I mean, Hero's hey, legit and, and Peter and I know each other in real life. Uh -huh. And Peter said, you know, Gary, I don't understand it, but it's, it's legit tech. It's legit backing. It's a legit company. I just don't understand all the, the workings of, of what you do with it. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, cool. I trust Peter. So I jumped in and, and shot my shot and launched my coin and, it's been a hell of a wild ride. We launched it about 30 cents a coin, and right now we're over $12 a coin. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah. it's insane. So can you explain a little bit how the, the Gary coin works? Like, how does it go up in value? How do people get the coin? Is there any sort of burn to coin? Does it, um, uh, what's the word? Is it deflationary? You know, how does the coin work? Mechanism? Yeah, so Rally is a creator coin platform. So let's take the ecosystem. We have ETH setting right here, and we have sidechain tokens. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got Doge, you've got Sheeb. Well, you have Rally. Mm -hmm. Rally is a sidechain token. Mm -hmm. So okay. when you're looking at Rally, it's a, it's a token. It's an ETH token. Mm -hmm. You can buy Rally on Coinbase. So it's tradable. It's in all the exchanges. So Rally's utility as a token, like that's one of the challenges that like Sheeb or Doge or all these meme tokens have is like, what's our utility going to be? Why are people going to own the coin? What are they going to do with it? Rally's first utility was a creator coin platform, mm -hmm. Rally.io. Yeah. So their utility is very similar to, I mean, honestly, very similar to any business. It's let's, let's do an endorsement deal with Gary Henderson. Let's give him a coin. Let's give him a Genesis grant of his own coins. And then let's see what happens. And now I, like Gary Coin right now, is worth about 23 Rally. Mm -hmm. So Rally's worth 50 some cents a piece. Let's just call it 50 cents for round numbers because that's easy math for all of us. Uh -huh. So if Gary's worth 23 Rally and Rally's worth 50 cents a piece, then Gary's worth $12.50. Mm -hmm. Simple math. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. how does Gary increase in value? Well, two ways. Either rally goes up because the overall, like the market cap of rally is like 1.1 billion. Mm -hmm. So like industrial investors could come in or big money could come into rally and rally could go up as a token or Gary coin could grow. And as more rally is stashed in Gary coin, then Gary coin won't be equal to 23 rally. It'll be equal to 24 or 25 or 26 or 30 or 40 or 50. And if Gary coins equal to 50 rally, 
you know, one Gary coin is 50 rally, then we would have a $25 coin, mm-hmm. even if rally stayed flat. So there's two, it's a little bit of a seesaw there. Right. Yeah. There's two pieces moving in the equation. So, and, and it works. And the reason why it works is like my economy is small. I have 1,205 supporters. So I've had 1,205 people that have held my coin. Now that's, that's a good number, but that's not millions. So when you get into launching these tokens and coins, you, how are we going to create liquidity? How are we going to stabilize the environment? How are we going to have some tech to exchange commerce? How do people buy the coin? And Rally takes care of all of that for me. So you can buy coin with credit card or crypto. Yep. So you can use Coinbase Commerce or a credit card. Um, they have liquidity built in. There's millions of dollars of transactions every single day in the Rally market. And there's a bit of a baseline stability for me because I'm pegged against Rally. So I have a lot more stability than if I just had. We have about 140,000 tokens in circulation. Okay. So it's, it's, it's kind of every new coin costs a little bit more than the last coin. But every time someone sells, it's burned and it disappears. Mm. So there's an infinite supply of Gary coin. They're just in circulation and then they burn. So buy and create, sell and burn or trade back and forth and it stays in circulation. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. does. Yeah, and rally. And feel free to break cool. it down, and I know I, I covered a lot there. So, well, and rally is all influencer creator based, right? So, like, basically, they're they're looking at creators like yourself, like ourselves. It doesn't matter if it's millions of people, but a thriving community because that's going to raise the value of rally. Obviously, your coin as well, the trading and the volume of all that stuff involved. So it's essentially people people who buy the rally coin or sorry buy Gary coin are betting that the the, the brand of Gary is going to go up right they're betting that you're you're going to um you know bring more people into the community and and build something special so that the value of the coin goes up and more people want access to the coin right that's that's kind of the, the idea yes there. and mm-hmm. yes and so on the surface yes now there's kind of three buckets that rally plays in. The third bucket is all coins need to play here. If you're a commerce coin or a cryptocurrency, you have to have utility because if not, then you're considered a security. We don't want to be securities. We want to be cryptocurrency. Can you you define that really quick? Security? Because (laughs) that's like, it's it's such a loose thing right now. (laughs) Now, I'm not going to give you financial advice here (laughs) and I'm not going to give you a legal definition, but for me, it's if there's no purpose of owning Gary coin other than the future potential to make an income. Right. Or make a make a, a growth. Yeah. So your goal of buying Gary Coin is so it goes and increases in value, and you get nothing else in return. That's what I would consider a security in my space. Mm-hmm. So that's what I have to fight against. I have to make sure there's utility. Right. So what I did is I built utility. So we're a creative studio. We have fun. Mm-hmm. So every person that owns one Gary Coin gets on stage with me on Clubhouse. So we built an auxiliary account for Clubhouse, kind of like a little bot, sets on stage with me. And when you come in the room and you raise your hand, it checks your wallet. And if you have Gary Coin in your wallet, it auto invites you to stage. Whoa. So you get to come straight up on stage. Up and all that stuff. And well, we use the Rally gate. So Rally has its own ecosystem. So we're not having to interact with MetaMask at this level. Got it. Okay. Yeah. It's a total so then we did it. Yeah. Then we did it also with NFTs in the Rally gate. So now we have NFT gate. So if you have this NFT in your wallet, you get the gate and you can come on stage. So we built that. That's utility. I do coffee every single morning in my community at around 5 a.m. East Coast time. So I go into my Discord community with my cup of coffee, and I have coffee with anybody that shows up. I get 20 to 30 people there every single day. How cool. (laughs) Now, they have to have one Gary coin to get into the coffee shop. So I have utility. Now, if you have 10 Gary coin, then you get access to over a hundred hours of transcribed searchable coaching of mine. If you have 50 Gary coin, you get access to, and you're a creator at rally, you get access to some tools that I have. If you have 250 Gary coin, what most people would charge $10,000 for, for group coaching, I give it to you for free for owning 250 Gary coin. <laughs> You never have to pay me. All you have to do is put 250 Gary coin in your wallet. And when you do that, well, what you just did is you helped the whole community because you, you supported, you added more value that's backing our coin. The cost of everyone's coin goes up and rally pays passive income to everyone that owns the coin. Uh-huh. So this week, I'll give you an example of another coin just to put it in supporters fashion. I own, I don't know if you know, Brian Fanzo. Uh, um, I know of him. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. He has the ADHD coin at Rally. So I own a thousand of his coins. Okay. This week, I'll make eighty dollars in passive income just by owning his coins. Wow. And is that in the form of more rally coins? The, the yeah, coins rally, yep. but there's a bridge and it's fully liquid. I hit one button and those rally end up in my Coinbase account. Wow. I moved 11,000 rally to Coinbase for $7. It's better than Ethereum, huh? <laughs> well, and the conversion is, is, is there. I mean, it's, it's a full, there's like rally is tradable on Coinbase. It's the number 53 or so most popular token on Coinbase. So the liquidity sets a Coinbase or any other major exchange. Yep. So I'm getting – this week I'll get about $9,000 personally in income based on my Gary Coin balance and free rewards from Rally as the creator. And my community will make about 10000 on top of that. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense now with going with Rally Coin. You know, as a creator, if you're able to get a coin, are people even able to get coins? Is there a process for that? There is a – so it's an open application. And what they're looking for is they're looking for you guys. They're looking for communities that are on a come up. Mm -hmm. You're creating content. You have a rapid group of supporters. You know, you have, when I onboarded, they were looking for about $500 a month in transactional volume. I mean, I did $3,000 yesterday and new people buying new Gary coin. Like I have transactional volume. So that's what they're looking for. And if you think about it, coins launch it. 20, 30 cents a piece. So, you know, you're not looking at much. If you had 50 people that would put in $10 a month to help you grow your economy, then you're probably in a pretty good spot. Um, you know, we have my top 50 coin holders own 101 or more Gary coin. Wow. Wow. And we have about 140,300 Gary coin in circulation. We're at a $12.50 coin. And I'll, I'll blow your mind for just a second because if I got, I don't know, 10,000 people to hold just one coin a piece more, then our coin would go to $45 a coin. Wow. <laughs> so think about your podcast, scalable. right? And imagine if every day on the podcast, your goal was get everybody to own one of your coins. Just one. Maybe well, two, we'll, but just one. We'll have some call to actions mid-episode. mid, mid episode We're like, bing, get yeah. the coin. <laughs> dee, dee, dee. You want to get They've the rally <laughs> built the tech. <laughs> It's yeah. already built. They have the sniffers in place. It can play music for you. Everything's already built for you. It's a turnkey creator platform. Wow. It's truly phenomenal. And where they're headed next year, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Rally. And, and one of the reasons why, like if you guys get on the Rally platform, your community comes in. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Some of them may grab some Gary coins. Some of them may not. That's okay. But they're going to grab more Rally, which is going to increase the value of Rally, which increases the value of Gary coin by default. Yeah. So we all win when, when the rally ecosystem grows. Yeah. But yeah. next year they're trading and they're, they're switching their rewards. So right now their reward system is incentivized on community growth. So they take your average balance the last four weeks and your current balance. And if, it's, if there's a spread, you make rewards on that spread. Starting next year, they're actually going to pay every single person that owns one Gary coin rewards every single day. So every single person that owns at least any amount of Gary coin will get free passive income every single day. Yeah. That's amazing. It's just, it's a wild, I mean, very much like Miami, very much like yeah. New York city. It's taking that equation and saying, Hey, we're making money because there's a bunch of money stocked here. So we're going to shift that and split it across the, the ecosystem. Everyone. Yeah. yeah everyone yeah. invested. Or yeah. people can, you know, watch an episode like this and go, man, that Gary guy, he's got passion. He's freaking hustling. He's out there <laughs> talking about this stuff. Maybe instead of creating my own coin, I'll just put a bunch of money in Gary coin because I know he's going to go out there and work to, to make that oh, coin yeah. grow in value. <laughs> we oh, had it happen. We had one guy. He put in $1,300 in March. I met him on Clubhouse. Mm -hmm. He cashed out liquid back to Coinbase over $40,000 so far this year. Jeez. <laughs> he put $1,300 in Gary coin in March. Wow. And I'm just thinking of like... Think of the other creators that are going to come on with their own coins and the potential that's going to happen. Like, you're just going to see that in a and lot of It raises of all the ships. Every, and, and you know? yeah, Gary Coin's value is going to raise. Everyone else's. If Mr. Beast jumps on and makes yeah. a rally coin and then makes a video about how Mr. Beast coin is going to be the next big thing, everybody that has rally coins, no matter which creator they're holding, is going to profit off of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Gary, and Paris, like? Like Paris Hilton is an investor at Superlayer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I mean... 
the investor pool, they have a $250 million Dow sitting there. Like the uh, investor pool is wild. When it comes to Rally Coin, so Rally has all the suite of tools built in. So if, if I wanted to create like a members area that's content that is only accessible to people who own my coin, how does that work? Is that like a, a WordPress plugin? Like how, how does that stuff come together? Some of it you have to build on your own. So I, we built some tech and we integrated with Stu McLaren's Searchy software. Okay. Uh-huh. So they have a Discord bot built. So you could very easily launch private content in like Discord servers and stuff like that. That's easy. Mm-hmm. Or you could start to integrate. They have an API. So you could integrate with any tech that you want because it's on the blockchain and it's public and it's wide open. So you have whatever you want or need there. Wow. Okay. Okay. It's like a whole closed loop community. Yeah. So you don't have to think about the whole process of doing any of that stuff yourself. Now, how about with uh, NFT? So with your giraffe tower drop, that was what, a couple weeks ago or so. How does that fit into the whole equation here with Gary Coin? And because I know it's all super linked up. Uh, how did... It was. Um, yeah. So we started with one, what well, we started with what was going to be 50. And that was my goal, to create 50 giraffe that was going to be kind of community-focused, community-centered. So that's what I started with. And I did my math, and I'm not an artist. I can't draw or anything. So I worked with an artist, and I did math, and I said, well, let's go get 100 of these. I didn't think I could move 100. I sold the first 100 in Gary Coin. So I used my own coin. And what we did is we did a live lottery or a live draft. So small community, we needed to make an impact. So I sold position number one, two, three, four, and five. And then I flipped and I went back and I sold the back end. So we sold positions in a live lottery. And instead of doing a blind mint, what I did is you, it was a hand curated selection of 100 giraffe. So if you bought position number one or pick number one, you got to pick out of 100 giraffe, whichever one you wanted. If you bought number two, you pick number two or number three, you pick number three. So the beauty of buying early is you're earlier in the draft. We also gave some free adoptions when we took the collection to 10,000. So we sold a bit of a package. We ended up doing about 300,000 US dollars in the first 100 draft. So pretty solid launch. Uh Um, (laughs) um, You know, it sold out. It was every time we dropped one of the, the draft and we sold like the cheapest ones were like 50 Gary coin. The most expensive was 750 Gary coin. So pick number 99 was 50. Pick number one was 750. Yeah, um, only yeah. difference was, you know, you got to pick earlier and you got some extra adoptions. But when we went to finish the 100, the market was really hot. So we decided to push on through to our 10,000. We wrote all of our smart contracts and all of our generative tech and everything. We went to Mint on the 22nd. That was the week that gas shot through the roof and ETH shot through the roof and we ended up moving almost 1,200 giraffe year one, which is really cool for me. Um, we moved about 1,200 in our primary cell, and we moved over 20 ETH secondary so far. So I'm for my say, size community, yeah. yeah, like for my size community, we're moving considerable volume. And we did something that I've never seen another project do. I locked the collection up. So I'm going to come up. I know I'm going to sell 10,000 giraffe. I think every creator in the world needs to have a giraffe in their wallet. Just that simple. So the fact that 10,000 giraffe didn't get sold today, that's just what it is. If you go back and look at the people who minted Board Ape Yacht Club, one person minted 1,200 apes. I just didn't have somebody mint 1,200. Yeah, That's That's okay. Like It it just is what it is. I actually think I'm in a really good position because when I open up my adoptions again, I'm not going to sell them for 0.05 anymore. I'm selling them for the floor. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's like I don't care if it takes me ten years. Yeah, yeah, I think when we we I, I looked last night. I don't I haven't looked today, but it was at point three five ETH floor when I looked last night. Yeah, yeah. I looked yep. this morning. Yeah, it's actually I'm on it right now. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and if if it's at a point three five floor, what we did is we said if you have five or more giraffe in your wallet, you get some voting rights in the community. We'll yeah. pick a price and we'll open up at that price. And that's just what we'll do. We'll just pick the price and open. And when yeah, we pick the price and open, you know, well, if that's at point three, cool. I make all that money. Those are all mine. I just yeah. happen to make a lot more money in that process. Yeah, it's smart because it, it, it makes it so anybody who's holding an existing NFT doesn't feel screwed when a new mint comes along and people start buying them at point five and then flipping them on the floor or point mm. oh five and then flipping them on the floor at point three five. You know, that would really, 
piss off a lot of the existing holders. So I think that's a, a smart approach. It's happened before. And I think, yeah. didn't you do some other incentives to, to grab NFTs? I know the windows are closed now, but you had some other incentivized uh, projects going on where if you bought an NFT, you get some future rewards and things like that. Yeah, we're in a lockup right now. We have most of our inventory locked away. Um, I have a unique position. I own a Gary coin. Mm-hmm. So I told my community, if you lock up all your, your draft and you don't list them or sell them or make them available, then I'll give you 100 Gary coin on the 5th of January. Yeah, yeah. So instead of having a staking contract built, we're writing stuff like that. But instead of doing all that right now, I just said, just hold them. Mm-hmm. So now we have about 20 or so available on the secondary market, and that's it out of... 1,200 that are available, so almost no inventory. Most of those are ones that I held back in my wallet to release to people, so I've got a couple of those listed. No one in the community wants to sell because they want their 100 Gary coin because it gets them closer to getting coaching with me at 250 Gary coin, and that's what they want. So it's just – we're just a teeter-totter back and forth and back and forth as I'm growing the community, and what I've been able to do is keep the floor higher than – I wouldn't have been able to support 10,000 buyers coming in. They would have all had insane expectations and the floor would have trashed. And then I would have had to try to rebuild that myself. Uh, that's a lot of work. So I just did it a little different. I wish more collections would look at the long-term path instead of saying like, we didn't sell out in three days. Let's burn everything and shrink our collection and we'll try it again later. Just lock it up and sell it later and make more money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and like, you're, you have a brand to hold. As well, you yeah. There's a brand, not only yourself, but the Giraffe Tower brand. So I love the fact that you're going smaller and easing into it with this this way these mechanisms because you see all these ten thousand you know uh, you know NFT project drops and a lot of them aren't selling out, so they decrease it to five thousand or whatever. But the community, it's like all that stuff on the back end is so tough to support, and uh, yeah. you know, like you have the floor price to to think about, but also just keeping people pumped up to hold. I mean, you're approaching it right, and it's totally different from things that we've seen or been involved in ourselves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> now with Draft Tower, you made a comment about how you think every creator should have a giraffe in their uh, in their wallet. What what are the the utilities? What's what's the benefit you see for creators for holding one of the giraffes? So in the Draft Tower, if you are there, you get a ton of utility. You get access to our community. Our giraffes are at a Suzanne Evans and Larry Winget event right now. I bought all their tickets. Mm-hmm. So getting access to free virtual events. We have Tower Talk, so we have BT, which is a Grammy-nominated musician, coming in to do a private fireside chat, only available to giraffe owners. All this stuff is happening virtual. So bringing in special guests, um, all those things. Now, if you own two, we're, we're creating a bit of an ecosystem. We have a utility token called Gleaf. So every one giraffe earns one Gleaf per day, just a utility token. But what that utility token does is if you own two, you're able to make babies. So we have a perpetual baby machine, basically. Every so often, we have new collections of babies. Our first babies come out in December. You make them by owning two giraffe and having some gleef. You make one baby. That baby's liquidity for you. You can sell that baby. That baby pool will grow to hundreds of thousands and thousands of wallets. So every wallet that has a baby gets access to the community, gets access to some of our events. And then we have a full membership site that we're building out that's community-driven. We call it the library. So community members can request and propose to put content in the library. The community votes what content goes in the library, and the community manages the library. And the only way you get access to the library is having a draft. So master collection at the top that will evolve to 10,000. Big, huge quantity of collection to put a, a giraffe in every creator's wallet that we can in the world. Yeah. Dude, that's a hell of a network effect. You know, Getting that in the hands of so many people. It just lifts everything up, the whole project as a whole, that whole breeding program. You're seeing that in some more NFT projects now, but I've been seeing that when you're rolling that out. I'm like, oh, this is smart. Um, I, I'm creating my own affiliates, and I'm paying them, and they get are. to choose how they, want to, um, how they want to get paid. They can either hold their token and get paid when they want, or they can sell it right now, or they could give it away as a bonus in their program or whatever, because the only way you will ever get a baby – is if you own two giraffe and you get our free utility token, which is Gleaf. So the only way babies are produced is if our community produces them. Uh-huh. That's it. So it, it's, a, it's a really cool model that I, I don't think we can live in, a, in an ecosystem where you just can't be in 200 discords. Right? No way. That's going to happen when mainstream, like we're power users, you and I, like we're power users, the three of sure. us. But the normal consumer, they're going to find one, two, or three communities and be done. 
Yep. That's it. Uh, and yeah. if you're a creator, I want one of those communities to be the draft tower. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, Joe and I, we've, you mentioned something about you're creating this, uh, this army of affiliates. And we've had this conversation a lot lately because our background is affiliate marketing. That's the world that we, we come from. But we've had this realization that this is where affiliate marketing is going. Instead of saying like, hey, here's my product. Everybody go promote it. I make the lion's share of the sales and we'll give you a commission as a thank you for promoting it. Now – we we build a community of let's say mm. ten thousand people. These ten thousand people are all rising the ship together. If Joe's promoting this thing, I'm benefiting. Mm. If Gary's promoting this thing, I'm benefiting. Everybody in the community rises this together now, and that's just a better model than mm. affiliate marketing. Dude. And it yeah, and, and you get like it's yours. You get the true benefit. Like imagine if you would have bought a bunch of board apes back in the day, back in May. You know, way back in the day, like six seven months ago. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Back in the day, in and the world, that's three years ago. Yeah. yeah, like, but you buy 10 of them, right? If you went to sell those today, you would have 500 ETH. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sitting like, pretty. Like, you would have bought those for less than one ETH. You would have went from one ETH to 500 ETH by taking a chance, getting in a project, and just going and being loud and promoting it and holding, yeah. holding and being patient. And you only needed to be patient in this example for seven or eight months, and that's it, or six yeah. or seven, whatever it's been. It hasn't been that long. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a crazy concept. I feel like, like, hopefully, minds are getting blown because I feel like every day, like even your model here, my mind's kind of getting blown because it's a reworking of the norms, you know, and the outside of the crypto space, the Web three space. Like these structures just don't exist, and this ownership where we can all rise ships together. It's so damn fun. And I mean, you're you're in the perfect position, starting, you know, going all the way back to Clubhouse. That's where it kicked off a lot of this stuff. You were always the behind the scenes guy. And, you know, you got a book deal. We got to mention that because we didn't really talk about the Clubhouse book yet, <laughs> you know. Um, but, like, you're just taking that now and then applying the whole community element and these cool mechanisms to just grow your brand, but everyone else's, whoever's involved at that, you know, at the same time. It's just a crazy, crazy time that we're living in. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, five months might feel like three years, <laughs> five years, but <laughs> this is probably why. You know, it's so much happening all at once. Yeah, it's funny because you know, I when in the crypto market, I say you got to be you got to be patient because stuff you know it drops and it comes back up and it drops and you got to be patient. But you know, for me, like anything over thirty days is being patient, right? Like it's <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> everything moves so fast and it feels like everything's falling apart one day and then the next day you're like, oh wait, no, it's fine again, right? We're, we've been seeing that just in the general art, altcoin markets for the last week. Is it's like. I wake up one day, I'm like, ah, crap, it's starting. Crypto winter, it's crashing, everything's going down. Next day I wake up, oh, everything's back up again, we're good. You know, it's, it's just this crazy roller coaster. I think some of the difference is looking at projects like that that really don't have that true utility around it. Mm -hmm. you, you don't need the next thing. Like, if you started a project, for example, like let's say you launched a coin, and let's mm -hmm. say you said um, – Get the hustle and flow chart coin, and if you have a hundred of them, you can be a guest on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you could look in your community and watch people celebrating as they were buying more coins because their goal was to get to a hundred so they could come be a guest on your podcast. Yeah. And every coin they bought costs more money. And if they would buy them when you launched, maybe to get a hundred coin, it costs like, I don't know, 30 bucks. Uh -huh. But maybe if they buy them six months later to get a hundred coin, it costs like twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. So yeah. your community gets to set all that. Like you just win together. You win with them. They have something to build toward. They're celebrating with you. When you get a big guest on the podcast, you know what they would do? They would go buy more coin. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because they know the coin is going to go up in value because you got a brand new guest. We just got you more are driving supply and demand. You're not waiting on Elon Musk to send a tweet for your meme coin that you own one one millionth of a percentage of. You get to say, like, literally, I went to – I host Town Hall in my community every single Wednesday. On Town Hall, I let my community know yesterday that I was moving over 10,000 rally into Gary Coin on Saturday night. It's just facts. I'm going to. Those are my rewards. I'm pushing them all in. I just disclosed my intentions for Saturday night. Wow. My community decided to go take their credit cards out and buy $3,000 in U.S. in more Gary coin mm. because they knew the value was going to go up and they wanted to get in before that happens. They're trying to buy it before my book drops because they know the value is going to go up and my attention is going to go up. Mm -hmm. So they're just trying to get into the community early. Like that's what you want. You want people fighting to get in early. Yeah. You don't yeah, want to beg them. You. 
Yeah. Right, investing in, in, in your concept, your, you, your creations, your content. Like you want to be able to look at the community and say, hey, when we get to a $20 coin, we're going to go pay the biggest guest we've ever had and bring in X name Dude. because it, it, it costs a budget, but the yeah. community's funding it Dude, because the community wants it. You're their surrogate, basically. Yeah. No, you're blowing our mind because you literally <laughs> just kind of figured out how to go and get the biggest name guests on, you know, pay their speaker fees. How do you get the speaker fees? Raise money through the community. And if the community wants to see the speaker, they'll help you raise that money to get that speaker. It's- how about like a voting for like, hey, what what kind of guests you want on? All right. Well, if you're holding the coins, you know, you have a say in the mix here. You know, there's a yeah. <laughs> I feel like you told us this earlier in the year, you know, and, we weren't uh, ready to hear it yet. <laughs> we definitely were not, man. But- and you have to get there. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's a journey. It's a commitment. Yeah. You know, I don't charge any person for my services anymore. There's no way to pay me. It doesn't exist. The only way is if you buy Gary coin. Now, there may be moments where I'll say, like, move some of your Gary coin from your wallet to mine, like when I sold giraffes. But other than that, like, you can't pay, you can't pay for coaching. If you want coaching, go buy Gary coin. Yeah. If you want access, go buy Gary coin. Because then everybody, and what it does for me is, well, Gary, do you have a payment plan? I sure do. You can buy a fraction of a Gary coin as much as you want or as little as you want. Well, Gary, I can't make my payment this month. No problems. You don't have to buy it next month. Well, Gary, I've got those 250 Gary coin and you know, I don't want your coaching anymore. Can I get a refund? You sure can just sell your 250 coin. I don't care. Well, Gary, yeah. yeah, I don't want to come this month. Don't come this month. I don't care. Well, Gary, the coin went up in value. Then hold on to your coin and make more money. You don't even have to come to coaching. Just hold on and let's go for a ride together. Like we all win together. There's no bitching and moaning. It's just easy now. And that's why, you know, like maybe they might not be into Clubhouse or, you know, like hopping in on all the Gary Gary talks and stuff that you give them access to. But sure as hell, I would believe in you and I do believe in you. You know, so your brand's going to rise. The rally brand's going to rise. So Hey, if it's a money thing, yeah, hold it. Or if it's a cloud thing with cool giraffe, cool. Start breeding them and spreading like crazy and tell everybody about it. Yeah. There's so many benefits and reasons why you would want to hold. I know um, Gary Vaynerchuk, he described it as I'm basically IPOing myself. He's like, I'm <laughs> if, if I was a if I was a company, my well, he is a company, right? But if I was a publicly traded company as a person and I was to go put myself out there, how many people are going to bet on me that I'm going to grow into the future? How many people are going to bet mm-hmm. on me that I'm going to, I'm going to get more valuable, more publicity, bigger, make more money? How many people would bet on me personally? And I loved that analogy of like, I, I think he was talking about his V friend specifically, right? His, his NFT, but that's what, that was how he was saying it. He's like, who's going to bet on me that I'm going to get bigger than I am now, that I'm going to get more famous, make more money, all of that kind of stuff. Who wants to bet on me? Yep. And that's, that's what you're looking at, you know, whether it's a coin or an NFT shop or whatever it is, it's, it's your community showing up to support you and saying, we believe in your future and where you're headed. We want to support you. We want more of whatever it is that we fell in love with in the first place. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, it's the way that any brand, any creator, influencer is going to IPO themselves. You know, if a brand hasn't done it already, well, guess what? There's an opportunity for anyone to do it here, you know, with a little bit of audience doesn't, doesn't need a lot, like you were saying, you know. The mm-hmm. vision and, and that's, and the that's what we want as consumers. Yeah. We want to be able to say like, yeah, I, I like these guys. I like the podcast. I want to get some good guests. I want to get some good stuff. So I'll support them when I can. We, we're right. going to own crypto anyway. So why not own some of your coin? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it, like why, not, why not get a cool utility by doing that? Like I can leave my ETH setting here or I can move a little bit of it over here. Like I'm not telling people to go put $100,000 in Gary coin. It's not what it's for. It's, it's to engage your community in a big way. And then you move energy into like the draft tower. It sets on ETH. We move energy from Gary coin in the micro community to the big ETH platform, yeah. bigger opportunities there. So you start looking at this, like my goal is, could we get 50 people to have 250 Gary coin in the wallet? Well, that'd be really cool. We'd have a really healthy economy. We'd probably have about a $60 coin. Mm-hmm. That's a really solid coin. Just getting, 50 people to have 250 Gary coin in their wallet based on everything else that sets there today. So that's easy for me. I own, because I I did a, whenever I sold the giraffes, we had 10,000 of those Gary coin moved back to my wallet. So I own 66,000 Gary coin. (laughs) So when those Gary coin are worth 50 bucks a piece, 55 times 66,000. 
I'm not going to do math right now, but it's a big yep. yeah, <laughs> you can, It's a nice one. <laughs> yep. So every dollar that that goes up, they tell you when you when you are traded on the stock market. Yep. For every dollar you make, you get a 10x multiple. <laughs> I'm getting than more that. than that. I'm getting more than that. <laughs> so this is the reason why creators and brands should be looking at this model for sure. Maybe it's Rally, probably Rally or something like Rally, and watching Gary as well. So checking out Gary Club, or Club Gary, that is. And um, like, what's how would someone now, like, what's the best way to enter your ecosystem for someone off the street? Like, you know, they're hearing us on the podcast. How are they going to find you? Where's the place? Um, easiest place is just Gary.club. So open up your web browser, Gary.club. Um, there's a lot of cool URLs behind there. You know, there's yeah. if you type in slash Discord, you can go straight to our Discord server. Um, I engage mostly on Clubhouse and Twitter. So those are two major social networks, Gary Henderson, both of those places. Mm -hmm. um, quite a large following on Clubhouse and, and not so much on Twitter, but that's okay. Um, but we have about 3,000 creators in Discord, and that's where I spend my time. Cool. So if, if somebody wanted to buy uh, the Gary coin, would they go, is there links to do that? And if they want to buy the draft tower that all the links are within those places. Yeah, all the links are, I mean, if you come to discord, we have really, if you're going to get involved in web three in, in this environment, you need to get really familiar with discord and you yeah. need to get yourself in the habit of going to the discord server and checking out the official links channel Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. because there's a lot of scams that exist. Yep. There's a lot of, of people that'll put up a fake website to grab your ETH or, or fish for something. So always go to the official website. Don't even type it in. So always go to like our Discord server. And then when you're in there, click the link in the official links. And it'll take you right where you need to go. So we can take you to the coin or the giraffe tower or the book or anywhere else we want to take you. Yeah, no, that, that's really good advice because um, we're hearing about it more and more on Twitter where people are, you know, if, especially if you're in Discord you'll see uh, just a ton of DMs if you don't have your DMs turned off of people going, hey, this project that's super hyped up is minting now. Click this link to mint it. And pretty much 100% of them are scams, right? If, if it's not in the announcements in the official Discord, it's probably a scam. Don't click it, all so, that. Yeah, always check where you're sending your money and yeah, yep. don't give out your all those secret phrases, all that stuff, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I got wrecked one time. I was walking to the lo local bar. I had a beer in my hand. It was, there was, um, I wanted to mint something. I got the message on my phone. I thought it was a Discord message. I sent the button. I sent 0.75 ETH, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I was so excited. I high-fived my wife. I ordered another beer, and then I looked down, and I said, I just got rugged. I sent ETH to a blind contract. I got 12 random, odd, weird NFTs delivered. Luckily, I didn't get like my wallet hacked or anything. Yeah. I just got NFTs I didn't want. But I just totally got rugged for like 0.75 ETH. So like it happens to everybody. Don't like just you yeah. just got to be careful there. Yeah. Do your, do your research first. Yeah. Well, let, let's talk about uh, your book coming up because I know there's actually a little bit of alpha around the book too, right? You've, you've got some, some special stuff happening with the book that uh, it, the, the book's about Clubhouse, but it ties into the NFT world that we're talking about right now. So let's talk about the book and what your plans are with that. Yeah. So we, when, I, when I wrote the book, I wanted to take a different path. I didn't want to do the normal book launch that this industry would do. Mm -hmm. You know, go do this, go do this, go do this. I wanted to do something creative. I reached out to Hay House and I asked them for permission to drop an NFT with the cover of my book. Mm. And I told them I wasn't going to sell that, which I'm not. So when you buy one copy of my book, anywhere you buy it, you'll fill out a form in our Discord server and you'll get a free NFT. Now, the NFT is going to be the cover of my book and it's going to have three unique utilities for you. Utility number one is you're going to get access to a $20 a month monthly coaching program for life of owning that NFT. So I charge $20 a month for about 100 hours of coaching on demand. You get access to that for life. Just keep that NFT in your wallet. Utility number two will be private channels in Discord. So getting access to private community in our Discord server. And utility number three is access to private stages in Clubhouse where you'll be able to come in and get live coaching from me as you're going through learning about Clubhouse, learning about you know implementing the strategies in the book, building your funnel, all of those things. I'll be there to help you along the way, and your NFT will get you onto that stage to ask me questions. Mm -hmm. So you buy one copy of the book, or you grab it with an Audible credit, or you download it on Kindle. I don't care how you get it. In all honesty, I'll just be real with you right here. You can even lie to me and tell me you did it, and I'll still give you the NFT. <laughs> 
<laughs> like if, if you <laughs> if you need that NFT that bad and you want it, you just come into Discord and tell me, make up some receipt numbers. I'm going to ask you what your receipt number is, <laughs> and you make up some numbers, and you're still going to get it. I'm not. I, I, that's, it, that's on you. Um, so what's, what what's Rally gives one? me as a yeah. creator, it's I think it's 10.99 on Kindle. It's 10, 11 bucks on Kindle or 18 yeah. bucks on print, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, so I got myself a hardcover. It's pre-ordered right now. I know it's releasing December 7th. So uh, depending on when this – this will be released before that, at least part of this episode. Mm -hmm. So we'll let, make sure you're in, and it's called The Clubhouse Creator. So um, I grabbed it on Amazon, but what was it, Gary.club slash book? Yeah, Gary.club slash book. And what Rally does as a creator is it allows me to send NFTs to people without charging gas. Yeah. So this isn't a free mint. This isn't a um, – it's not a you got to pay the gas to get your NFT. I'm going to airdrop every single person their NFT with no gas calls. Solid. And if you decide to sell it, you can sell it, and there's no fee to list it either. And it'll show up in OpenSea, like all the normal places? It doesn't. It's So Rally has their own NFT ecosystem. Okay. So it. it'll set in the garden there, kind of like if you go to Top Shot or something like that. Mm -hmm. They have their own garden, but there's no listing fee. When you go to list, you don't have to authenticate your wallet. You never, ever have to engage with your ETH wallet, so you're all nice and safe and secure. It's all in its separate ecosystem and gate. Nice. Very cool. That makes sense. I mean, it's like keeping it inside the, the rally ecosystem, right? Like, so everything kind of play nice inside there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and all the, all the rally tools that you've set up for validation on the back end and stuff, it all, all just works. Yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, yep. damn. This is such a cool model. Like when, when you said you had an NFT behind this, I was just starting to think, and we were talking about like, what are the utilities that Gary can put behind a book? Yeah. Like any person that purchases a book, okay, cool. You get this pass, this access pass. And that's a good way to like frame it for anyone just kind of thinking about this model. It's like, boom, you just got this cool guy pass, cool girl pass into the <laughs> club. As long as you're holding that pass, you're in the door. Uh, you can sell it or give it away or whatever, but like... I could see so many more books taking this model and running yeah, with it. Yeah, I was going to ask, have you seen Dude. other books do this? Because this is unique. I've never I heard of not. this happen with books. I think you might have just invented a new way to launch books. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've done so many book launches. I think I've done six New York Times bestsellers. And you just get bored. You know, it's like, get this bonus, get that bonus. I, I just wanted, I had some unique tech. I just figured I'd flex it and use it. It's like, yeah, man, how many creators get to give an NFT gas-free and drop it to you? How many creators can say, I've been recording hundreds of hours of content and I've got it all transcribed and I'll just, I don't care. I'll just give it to you because I know even if a hundred thousand people went and bought my book, there's no way that'll happen. Let's just say it did. There's millions of people that still need to get access. Yeah, right. I know that. I know there's millions of people that still need access to that content. So what does that mean? That means I now have 100,000 people out here talking how great it is, sharing the stories, sharing the name. I don't care. <laughs> like, go buy the book. I'll give it to you. Go buy five or ten. You know, it doesn't like – it's just – it just makes sense. But you've got to look at numbers different. You've got to look at abundance different. Oh, dude, you nailed it. It's abundance is different. And this Web3 equals abundance. I would say that's accurate across the board, you know, with any kind of mechanism inside. Oh, it's it's everything. So get get the Clubhouse Creator book. Uh, what, Gary.club slash book mm -hmm. is a place to go get that. And then uh, what? And then go to Discord right after that, right? Fill out that whole verify thing. Yep. I'm sure it's pretty obvious. I have yep. not done it yet. Hmm. Got it. <laughs> so, yeah, and you've got, until, you've got until December to do that. So plenty of time. You know, we're, we're in a steady promotion every single day. We'll have a little bit of hold back on the back end. This will drop around the, our NFT will drop around the 15th of December. So we'll get through that initial launch week, give everybody time to grab the book and we'll drop the NFT around the 15th of December. Very cool. The, the, the last uh, little rabbit hole I want to go down with you is I'm curious what projects outside of the Gary ecosystem are you looking at? What, what are you excited about right now? I know um, you sent over uh, Dude, stuck about in my head still. Miami coin. You sent over uh, stuff about the, the Bored Apes uh, music thing. The ape in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've, we've just been eating all of this stuff up. The Miami thing, I think, really blew our mind of like, this is where the world's going. We're going to get to a point where cities are competing to get you to come live in their city. Like, that's where we're going right now. True. It's Good insane. Point. Um, but all that being said, what, what, what has you lit up right now? Um, let's see. So I bought, I've spent probably a hundred ETH in the last three months buying NFT projects, mm -hmm. um, in and out of different communities, flipping in and out, checking out 
what's going on. Um, unique stuff lights me up. So I'm, I own a lot of anonymized bags. So I have 10 anonymized um, mice. Um, that's a cool project. It's all on chain. It was the first fully on chain project. It was a free mint. Mm-hmm. Um, the floor surged to 12 ETH. Wow. Ooh, off a of free mint. Wow. Nice. Off of a free mint. It's right now at about a two and a half ETH floor. Um, so I own 10 mice. They're, they're staked, earning cheat every single day. Um, the mutants really excite me. Um, I connected yesterday with the new song. So Timberland launched a new music group, but it's, it's unique. So for 0.25 ETH or a quarter of an ETH, you got a song, a track, which you own the rights to. Like I asked them, I said, can I play it on a podcast? They said, you own it. I said, can I, like, because normally, like, you know, podcasts, you can't just, like, if you wanted to grab Snoop Dogg's new song or Bruno Mars's new song, you couldn't just put it on your podcast. No way. But you own the rights to it. So it's yours. Um, it's a really, really, really cool song, but it's all apes. But what they did, their utility that's so neat is if you own that token and an ape or a mutant or a dog, you can put your ape in their contract and they'll manage it in their talent pool. So basically, so, it means that they could show up, right? In one of the future tracks or animations. I think they're doing videos and stuff too. With Timberland's management company behind it, dude. It's a whole. It, it's a record label, essentially, right? Like I was kind of peeking at it this morning. I was like, this thing's blowing my mind. Well, it's, it's a record label that sounds like it's essentially being operated as a DAO, where uh, like basically it. everybody who owns these tokens. Uh, owns a fraction of the record label and also a fraction of the license for the music that's on the label. So I would imagine there's only going to be more music that comes out in the future that you also get the license of as long as you're still holding this NFT because now you're a member of that DAO, essentially. Yeah, it's it's such a fun concept. And I think that's where I think that's where we're going to go. You know, like the um, I, I don't know if you saw the Constitution DAO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Like that went from twenty million yesterday to like forty overnight. I was like, "What yeah. the hell just happened?" I just checked it this morning. I was like, "Blowing my mind." <laughs> so those projects just excite me from tech. Um, the nouns DAO is really cool too. Have you seen the nouns? No, I don't think so. No. How do you spell okay, that? it's N O U N S, like a noun. Uh huh. Dot W T F. So. They started this project, and every day forever, they will mint one new noun. And every day, you bid on a noun. And the bid today, you can see, what's the bid today? I see you looking at it. Can you see? Uh, 58.75 ETH. So 50.75 ETH today. Jesus. So go to the top of the page, and where it says Treasury, click that link. I'm on it. Okay. Hey, tell me how much money is in that contract. Uh, where are we at? Right up here. Oh, right here. 60 million. Yeah, over 60 so, million dollars. Yeah. So when you mint a noun, your proceeds, all of the proceeds go to that contract. And when you own a noun, you get access to those funds in the DAO. And you control a 60-some million dollar fund right now. Wow. And now when you say you control the fund, what can you yes. do with the fund? What, you how, can how submit we- a proposal. And if the fund approves your proposal, then you will be funded. And you have $65 million at your disposal right now. Oh, yeah. I see it. There's a whole list of proposals here. Yep. And, I mean, there's a bunch that have been executed. Yep. Crap ton of them. Yeah. Well, read some out. I can't read them from here. Uh, read perpetual a couple glasses to kids in need, uh, version two. Retroactive funding and small grants pool. Uh, brave sponsored takeover during NFT NYC. So that was a party proposal to name a recently discovered species of glass frog named or after nouns. <laughs> a glass frog. Okay. So pretty much anything. You could propose anything. I mean, those were executed. Those <laughs> aren't even the. Yeah. <laughs> There's wow. two other proposed. Yeah. Stake one ETH and Lido. And I'm, I'm, uh, Lido. I'm assuming these aren't loans, right? You don't have to no, pay this them is back. Funding straight out of the grant. But you have to own 1% of the nouns in order to submit a proposal. I see that. Yeah, 1%. So every day there's a new noun minted. Uh-huh. So over time, you have to you oh, if you want to submit proposals, you have to buy one every hundred days. Yeah, because it's constantly getting diluted. Right. Right. <laughs> what a wild thing. <laughs> <laughs> and every ten days, the de- the original devs, the ten or so original devs, get a noun. Uh, <laughs> this is brilliant. Like this. Like, so this like that's the stuff thinking. that excites me. Is not. Yeah. I'm not excited about the next PFP. Right because now. for yeah. me, I'm not gonna. I, I'm a giraffe forever. 
Mm-hmm. Like, that's my forever PFP. I don't need the next PFP anymore. I've already got mine. I'm excited about the cool utilizations in the community. So I would go buy a PFP if the utility that underlied was, was what I wanted. But I would only buy for the utility, not the PFP. Like, if I had the ETH available, I'd go buy a noun because that's really cool. If I could stick in the ecosystem and, and play in that environment, that's a lot of ETH, but that's really cool. If you got it, I mean, it's a great thing to play with. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they're... Uh. <laughs> And the PFP thing, I mean, that was a trend, obviously, er- earlier this year. Not saying that's going away at all. There's going to be a market for that. But the utilities, man, they're coming in strong right now. You, know, not you only should find leaders, a PFP. You should find yeah. one at least. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I would, think like, everybody should have a PFP. When you're looking for a PFP or when you're talking to someone, like, are there certain things you're looking for? Is it just purely art for that? You are you? I, mean, I would want to wear it. Like, I would want to, if it's going to be my PFP, I'd want to feel comfortable in it. I would want to feel that it's a representation of me. Um, I'd want to feel the community is a representation of my vibe and what I'm looking to, to do. And I might want multiple PFPs if I'm vibing different. So, like, I, I can see that. But I, I just think living in the Web3 environment, you need a PFP. Yeah. Like, you don't have to wear it all the time. But you need one. So I encourage everybody. I think it's a great place to start. Like, it's a great place to to feel that we're all going to make it energy. It's a great place to feel the, the vibes and just find something that resonates with you. That's in your budget, whatever it is and buy it and know that you can always sell it. If you decide you don't like it again. That's right. And then if you don't have one yet to those listening, like you learn so much in the process and, and like, yeah, we, you're going to buy some stuff that might not shake out so well in terms of the project, but if you buy it and love it, then wear it proud. So what's um and so after the book launch next year, do you have any big plans, any roadmap stuff that we should be paying attention to? I mean, I am just growing the coin and growing the economy there. Um, we've got big goals to grow that. Um, yeah. We set we're the number twenty or so coin on Rally out of two hundred and some, and I'm one of the smaller communities, mm-hmm. um, just getting started. So we want to set right near the top of that. Um, I want to help a hell of a lot of creators make money. Mm-hmm. You know, more and more Rally coins are coming out of my community. More and more projects are coming out of our community. So we're, you know, like a, another Rally Coin launched yesterday that came out of our community. So we're working closely with Rally to help our our community launch their own coins and build their own ecosystems and and really grow that. So to me, it's just how can I help creators realize there's a hell of a lot of money that we can go make together, mm-hmm. and let's figure out a path to go do it so we all win together. Absolutely, um, every day, all day. Part of Gary Club too. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. Well, I, I, I'd love to chat with you again next next round of giraffes. Next time you're opening up the yeah. draft, it'd be cool to bring you back on and chat about it right before it opens, and sure. you know, give some of our community a heads up so they can they could get on board that round. Um, but, and in the meantime, go get the the clubhouse book. You know, get that <laughs> NFT so you get some access to Gary that way as well. And um, if you're lucky to find a giraffe on the secondary market, go grab one <laughs> because man, they're they're flying. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, man. Appreciate you, man. It's fun. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, man. I got to shake my brain off for that one. (laughs) (laughs) That was great. And it's been a day since we actually chatted with him. Yeah. Uh, Boom. Like, we had actually a whole mastermind session earlier today talking about the concepts we just learned from Mr. Henderson. We did. And it was pretty cool. So, what... What did you take from our brainstorming, but also from this episode? Oh, man. Well, we have a whole project idea that we'll, we'll talk about in a different episode. But um, we, we want to get involved with the rally coin. I, I want to yeah. do the rally coin for the community, for the hustle and flowchart community. We, we want to get some sort of coin made to incentivize the community to help grow the community. Because this this concept of if you are in a community and we're all in this community together and we... What's that? Our vibe, our tribe. Yeah, that. Come on. It, we're all in a community together, and we're all doing things to help others get into that community as well. And everybody wants into this community. The value of this community is going to grow. The coins that are underlying the community, the value is going to grow there. So you're actually earning real world value by being a part of a community. Mm. And Rally Coin really, I think, helps facilitate that. So I'm gonna. I think we're both going to dig a lot deeper into mm. that and figure out some sort of coin for our business. Yeah, man. Yeah, it, it's so cool because Rally. Yeah, you and I nerded out on that. We looked at the website. We look at what Gary has done in the last 24 hours. Mm. So like yesterday, or when we interviewed him, it was yesterday at the time of this recording. It was around like 12. 
third like twelve dollars and thirty cents or something like that for his mm-hmm. coin. Now it's like over fourteen bucks. Yeah, and that's within twenty. We we interviewed him just over twenty four hours ago. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. So the dude knows how to create a lot of value with community using all the Web three tech NFTs, all the tokenized stuff, the ERC twenty tokens. But the cool thing is with Rally, it's like this built in system thing. So that's what had us looking at it. We're like, man. For people who have communities, maybe in Discord already, or uh, maybe you're a creator on YouTube or someone with a following outside of Web3, this is like a really cool way to bring communities and ownership. You know, all these people now have ownership in this thing and staked, you know, in the rise of the value of this group, this brand. Like Rally just seems like a really cool option for that. I could mm-hmm. see a lot of creators coming to Rally because right now you can look at the leaderboard, you know, the top coins. That's what we were looking at earlier. Mm-hmm. And we have some friends on there, like mm-hmm. really cool stuff. A shout out to Steve Olsher and the Bold Coin. Uh-huh. You know, Gary Henderson's on there. He's pretty high up there. And, and it's really cool to kind of start looking at the math. Mm-hmm. And that's what Gary really breaks down well. And actually, if you join his Discord channel, and we'll put it on the page, a little link or something. Um, he actually breaks down the math of how he's doing all of this. So mm-hmm. if you are interested in this, definitely join his Discord. Invest in Gary Coin, all of that stuff. Buy an NFT if you can find one on the secondary. Not financial yeah. advice. Yeah, oh well, yeah, yeah. Always, <laughs> always, always. But uh, the dude knows what he's doing, and he's one that you want to model or at least like just get involved because mm-hmm. he gives so much and, and basically is telling what he's doing in action. Mm-hmm. It's, it's rad. So, yeah. yeah. We're going to be doing something like that. Yeah. No, good <laughs> stuff. It, like, he, he blew my mind, and uh, I hope he blew some other minds. And make sure you go grab his book, because if you grab his book, you're going to get that free NFT and all that additional coaching and stuff that you're going to get inside of the Discord. Look into Giraffe Tower NFT. That's going to keep on growing, because he has you know some sort of additional incentives that make it more and more valuable over time. Um, and check out Rallycoin. I mean, Rallycoin, mm-hmm. I, we're going to build a community token. Whether we do it on Rallycoin or not, we're still figuring out. But Rallycoin looks like a really cool option. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, so the future is exciting. It the is. now is exciting. This is crazy times, man. Yep. I feel like it's every single day. I said in the episode, I think. It's like my mind's blown every single day. Yep. Every day. Every day. It's so fun. All right. So fun. It's good times. Let's do it. What are, what we, are doing? we doing? I don't know. We're, are you okay? You're just saying words? I'm, I'm, words? Do I look okay? No. Don't. <laughs> I was going to say, like, what's wrong with your face today, Matt? Like, um, I'm running on like three hours of sleep. That's what's up. <laughs> and these are bright lights right here. <laughs> He's just really hung over. He had a hard, he was party rocking all night long in the clubs at Lad City. He was going to town. Those clubs are crazy. I mean, we still haven't found a location at Lab C- Lad City, uh, but we're working, we actually were building one out. Yeah. We've, we've scoped a location, actually. We just not, we haven't visited. It's yet. got, it's sight got, unseen. It's sight got unseen. views. It's got views. It's got really cool views. Yeah. Lots of cool lights and uh, maybe some islandness. Yeah, some party, uh, beach parties on there too. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> next time, next time. We'll see you next time, huh? All right, see you guys later.